Hi, Herm Girl. I have been thinking about a couple of things which I wanted to share with you and wanted to talk about this amazing painting. This is called The Transfiguration. It is by the painter Raphael, painted in 1516 to 1520. This painting is about 9 by 12 feet in size. It's oil on wood and it's hanging at, at a cathedral in the Vatican. And it is absolutely amazing. It's uh, Jesus Christ rising to the sky and the the clouds around him very blue and um, underneath is a woman and for some reason this woman is is depicted more focused and has is, has more light shining on her so it's kind of like the light is coming from the upper left corner and it's a very very bright almost not sunlight it almost looks like more like a like maybe like one sunlight beam coming through a lot of thunder clouds and it's just an amazing painting amazing amazing atmosphere it's like something is really happening there it's um, not just the subject itself which is spectacular of Jesus transfigurating himself from body into light go ascending into becoming a light being this is a subject that has occurred many 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 times throughout the centuries and into the modern day and more now than ever people talking about this and so I'm agnostic to the subject I don't know whether this is something that's that's possible or will be happening or has happened so I'm, I'm definitely not a believer I um, like the Jesus in this particular painting because he is depicted as somebody who is very 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 kind and innocent and naive and childlike and for for republicans today this person would be labeled gay Yes, by the Christians of today that are very right wing. They would call him gay. And then I would say, let me tell you who that is. It's Jesus Christ. And they would go, no way. Yes, depicted by Raphael. And um, so to me, this is the image. This is the man. This is to me is a real man. To me, a real man is it's it's heavy, heavy subject. Um, because I'm thinking about this other guy. I have ten million thoughts at once, and they all went through the same door, the same bottleneck thought processing. I have to sort it out. I have to just one thing at the time. And it just because it all ties in with one another. Jesus, as Raphael perceived this or imagined this figure, is a man I like. He is chubby, very, very chubby. He has a very pure white gown on that is looks uh, like it's a very, very finely woven cotton. And he has long light brown hair that are flying into the air behind him and um, it shows his body because the gown is 
clinging to his body because of the the this dynamic of air that is pushed up it pushes up that gown and looks kind of like kind of like a little bit like a like a nightgown and um but very beautiful looks almost like he has wings because that gown is has this very a long um that's in german called schlepper um i don't know what's called in english um like a like extra cloth material that hangs over the back kind of like a hood but like a really long hood and it flies up and it looks like a wing and uh, so you can see his body shape and um it's um it's on the internet you can find it on wikipedia Raphael the transfiguration um and um it shows the picture right away on on the the first in the first page and so you can see the figure and it's a it's it's he's as heavy as i am in that picture and people were depicted heavy they were all depicted as heavy as I am at that time. It was the beauty ideal because um that had to do with um people had food scarcities, and the rich person was always heavy and uh so rich was something that was the desirable therefore the image of heavy became very desirable as well and it was also actually sexy at that time <laughs> believe it or not you know and there's this woman in, in the front who is has a gown on that is could be she, mother mary but she looks very young she looks like she's 20 years old very heavy like me also and showing her shoulder and has she has all real heavy muscles and and like packed with fat and muscles and, and big fat face and gorgeous hair and uh, just gorgeous she's gorgeous and so there's a lot of focus to on her in this picture very strange um the people in the picture they are not all looking at jesus there's not very many people looking at him as a matter of fact most people are actually looking at a child that is in awe with the jesus figure so and i don't know exactly who these historical figures all are or uh, i mean uh, not historical figures um bible figures fiction figures i guess so um, or maybe partly f fiction figures i don't know what how this whole story is what the truth about this whole story really is i mean there's a ther ther Theorists, um, one of the theorists is um, Simka Jakobovici, he's a filmmaker, and he is coming very close, I think, to finding out who that family really was and how they lived and so whether, okay, who, whether he was married to Mary Magdalene. And so I think he was married to Mary Magdalene, or, or the real name is Mariamne, and they are buried together, and the, the, the Israeli government, they don't want to open up that tomb again, because they don't want people to be snooping in there and digging all that up. And that just stirs up too much, and I guess there's too much vested interest now in the old story and if then the this the old story gets overthrown then that will stir a lot of shit up <laughs> and it will might ruin a lot of business because you know christianity is a business just like the medical industry sorry about that you know, it's certainly not in the that was certainly not the idea of the of of jesus christ if it's true what Zimka Jakobovich he said about him and his teaching that he uh, was teaching basically what the Buddha taught and 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 I believe that he's probably learned from Buddhist monks at some point in his life 
between 13 and 30 and then came back with the with the with Buddhism or the Buddhist philosophy and that, and that was a complete novelty in the Middle East. People were shocked about this and um, it stirred up a lot and as always it was revolutionary for people and so um, anyway this Jesus figure in this picture here is beautiful this, there's innocence in the face, there's the child at play, there is pure art. It's, this is what life, the essence of what life is all about, is play, lightness, almost like, you know, like total at ease, where... <laughs> All of this heaviness doesn't matter anymore. The ego, it, this ego is all heaviness. It's and so and 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 this is my other thought that I was carrying around with me for the last couple of days. There's this guy from England. He became a guru, and he was initially very nice, and, but he has self-image problems. So now all of a sudden that he has a lot of followers. He is um, turning himself into the image of uh, like a mix between Ted Nugent, James Hetfield, and Garth Brooks. And to me, this is highly disturbing because that shows me that this guy, this guru guy, this young guru guy, has not worked on any of his self image problems at all. Um, he has not come to embrace himself, who he really is. Um, as the mellow, sensitive, almost feminine guy, you know, uh, soft, you know. That's what I see in this Jesus figure here. There is nothing bad else in that figure. It is, um, it is, and it's nothing, um, there's nothing religious in him either. There's nothing dogmatic. It's completely above all of this totally above that was there was uh, there was an essence that was taught also within christianity within this multitude of different dogmas within this religion but this is the part that people like to ignore you know as the few people the 0.1% of Christianity celebrities throughout history that have taught this this innocence and art in it. There were a few a few Gnostics that have recognized this that that also brought them way above the dogma itself, uh, way above any dogma. But then that is the message that uh, is bypassed. That is the message that a lot of people don't see or don't want to see. I guess maybe to see this would be to take responsibility for their lives. This is hard work, and people don't want to do hard work on themselves. They want to take the easy route. They want to be titillated, as Adi Ashanti said. They want to be entertained. They want to be served. You know, They want to go in front of the TV or in front of the computer. They want to watch one movie after another. They want to be entertained. They want to have sex in the film, violence, celebrities, and scandal. This is the four, the four biggies that uh, gets into people's brains. The corporations use these uh, to get into people's brains. Unfortunately, uh, we all have to resort to using these in order to even get the message out. I'm certainly not doing this right now with this video. I, I'm not gutsy enough to lower myself to this level in some way. It's it's a little bit like prostitution, feels like. If I would have to, you know, in order to get my message across to hum humanity, I w if I had to like show my breasts you know, or sit here naked or something. I mean, that would be that be extremely sad and cheap if I had to do this. Um, it's not about that I would feel like a, an object or 
would feel like I w I'm like under the thumb of some sexist assholes all of a sudden. I don't give a shit what they think of me. But it would be it would be awful sad to have to resort to a vehicle like that. It would be awfully sad. Or having to bleach my hair blonde. Uh, so that's why I use the wig because um, that's a whole lot better for the environment. <laughs> and um, yeah, or or do a lot of f words like Gary and Mentum and and do this battle shit.